Hey guys, welcome to the vault. We're back with some more exclusive content. Keepers, sleepers, and weepers. Another episode coming up. Jason, Snap, Leon, and Pierre. Hope you guys enjoy. Pierre, take away. We have to first check in with Jason on his weeper of his collection. <laughs> so he's got weepers from his collection that he's pulling out for keepers, sleepers, and weepers. So why don't you show off what you got on, Jason? Uh, this is a, yeah, a Asheville Tourist uh, Hippie Day hat. Okay. Okay. Um, Black bottom. Black under. Black under. Holy shit. Yeah, this was an off field. So this has uh, all the bells and whistles. Yeah, personally, I like this one, but I know a lot of people would consider this a weeper. So that's that's why I'm wearing it today. I look forward to every every keeper sleepers weepers now to see which one you're wearing. So mm -hmm. um it actually looks really good on you. you. I would think you was like a surfer in Venice Beach or something with the hat on. Mm -hmm. Almost like you know you know whose hat that is. That's Billy Ho's hat from White Man Can't Jump. Didn't he wear mm. that that color tie dye in the movie? I With the flip brim or something? Didn't he have a flip yeah. brim? Yeah, it was like a bicycle hat he wore. I think. No, that was Wesley Snipes. I'm talking about mm. Billy Ho. He had mm. a hat like that. That, that. The last time I watched that movie was 30 years ago. Really? <laughs> I I watched that once a year. Last time Jason watched that, he could actually jump. <laughs> yeah, I believe Jason can dunk. Jason, could you dunk? Uh, on an alley oop, I could never, I could never get, I could never Didn't hold on to the ball to, yeah. yeah to, oh no, I could dunk when I was in high school. Yeah, on an alley oop, but I could, yeah, I could never get the the palm to yeah, do it. So I could dunk in uh, NBA Jam. But you got to remember, I grew like three inches after high school too. Mm. Okay. Well, snap. Could you ever dunk? Uh no, I used to clap the board. Remember, remember that was a thing back you in the used day. To clap your cheeks. What? <laughs> <I'll> clap the <laughs> board. Clap. <laughs> so he, he could touch the bottom of the backboard. I'm trying. I'm trying to be good this episode, and you're gonna get. You're getting your cheeks clapped. So good, so you don't get Snap, We didn't want to hear about you getting your cheeks clapped. We were just asking because you ever. <laughs> see, I'm trying to be good. See, you guys bring the devil out of me. See, see that? You see and snap, that? snap. You're right. You're you're close to right. It's just similar to the the tie dye that Billy Ho wore in White Man Can't Jump. His might have had a little more blue, a little more pink in it, but this this is close. <laughs> I'm trying to be a nice guy right now. I'm just trying to figure out what that's what was that saying again? Clap when you the board. Clap, when you clap the boards, you you never did a layup, and when you go for the layup, you, you clap the board on them. It was called clapping. That, that's only the guys that couldn't reach the rim did that. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, but that was a big thing, Pierre. Did you not? You, you used to play twenty one and all of that. And when you I when you go for the board, you go you clap ah, and you slap board, you slap that board. You know what I mean? And make the layup. That was a big. That was almost like Duncan. No, not even close. Like I have a feeling like when you were clapping the board, it was like this. No, no. <laughs> Bottom of the board, <laughs> snap goes up. <laughs> Whatever. I got I got a technical foul and kicked out of a basketball game once. Did for, you? Uh, for, for hitting the backboard. How about snap? Snap, you ever get kicked out of a game? You ever get teed out of a game? No, I never got teed out. So no, I got I got – so I went up to get okay. to block a shot, and and I missed the ball. So I hit the backboard, and the the ref teed me up, and I fucking went off on him, and he teed me up. <laughs> what, the was, what was the rule violation? Uh, you can't. You apparently you can't touch the the support if you don't touch the ball. What? It was, it. it was an inter. It was an inter for hitting it and shaking it, so people can't make shots. Right. It was an intramural tournament. And so this guy, this guy thought he was fucking king shit, and mm. I'm like, he's trying to throw the rule book. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he, he, he went deep in the rule book on me, and I fucking went <laughs> deep into his fucking shorts after he teed me up. Like, <laughs> all right, guys, well, let's clap it. these cheeks. Let's get started here. Yeah, I, I, he looks a lot like Snap, actually. Yeah, let's <laughs> clap these cheeks and get started here with some keepers, sleepers, and weepers. Let's get started. Oh, Snap, look at this. Yeah, all 32 NBA teams on a hat. Uh, it's not a good look, man. And <laughs> actually, when I first started collecting hats, I actually owned this hat. Really? And, but I never wore it. But that's a lot of stitching, man. So funny. I, it reminds me of this one. Ugh. Ooh. But OVO did it in all gold, though. 
Yeah. Oh, hell. Yeah. They put nice. the wrappers right on the back. Drake's one classy son of a bitch. That's all mm-hmm. I gotta say. Yeah, no. This is this is I mean this hat comes around every year around all star game time. I hate him. Uh, oh, that's weeper. So uh much like Jason, sometimes these uh, MILB teams have uh funny theme nights. So I bring you guys Lehigh Valley. Oh no, sorry, writing fight and fills. Cream chipped beef. Oh on God. toast. On, on toast. Don't forget the on toast. I don't know or, what that or means. otherwise known in the Navy, shit on a shingle. Shit Ooh. on a shingle. Okay. <laughs> Whatever that was, that confused me, and it, it got my Weber spot. <laughs> so congratulations, Redding, the Fighting Phillies, with uh, your it, cream It's basically beef. like sausage gravy with, like, tore up bits of dried beef in it. This it's is on a wa- it looks like it's on a waffle. Huh? It looks like something it's, a cat would hack up, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. It's it's on is... a, a piece of white toast, Leon. Oh, they actually had to play baseball wearing this hat. Yeah, well, they, yeah. You should they haven't. It. It's, just, it's new, so you should yeah, see the sure. jersey. Ooh. that's a good weeper, Leon. Um, this is when uh, the food theme nights uh, you run out of ideas. Yeah, shit on the shingle. All right, well. Let's see what Jason picked. Uh, well, I picked the bottom two. The top one, okay. I don't know where that came from. But the bottom two, I am I am convinced that some of these new era reps get like kickbacks or commission for selling these shitty fabrics. Because otherwise, I don't know why stores use them. Like these two bottom two ball sack uh, Viking ones. Um <laughs> What the fuck in the right mind would buy one of these? I know it's cold in Minnesota. It's cold over there, there, yeah. Yeah, wear a stocking hat then. Or a toque, <laughs> as you guys would call them up a in toque, Canada. Yeah, yeah but uh, I don't know. This this faux wool... What do they even call this thing? Micro fleece, right? Micro fleece? Yeah. It just needs to go micro goodbye. Yeah. All right. That rounds out the weepers. Time for our sleepers, right, guys? Mm-hmm. Sleeper, top restore Europe with this nice Chicago. Uh, I like the underline under the script. Very classy. Side patch is cool, too. So this is definitely one of my sleepers. All right. Good pick. Could use some metallics on that. Uh, sleeper of the week. Uh, snaps wearing on his head. Um, not every one of these will have a full size run, but the majority. Um, of them that you have sizes available. So shout out to Shaheen for doing a great job. Still, he, he uh, came on our uh, show for uh, this week in caps. If you haven't checked that out, um, shameless plug for that. But yeah, still doing a good job. Um, right in time for uh, Chinese New Year coming up at uh, the beginning of February. So I I personally like the blue over the red. Mm-hmm. What about you, Leon? I think the red's more traditional. It reminds me like a like a Chinese like wedding dress, typical mm-hmm. like what what the bride would change into at the reception of a wedding. But um, like it, like that one is like more festive and more like hey it's New Year's. But look wise, the blue does look better. I have blue and gold is crazy together. Mm-hmm. Looks really good. Cool. I'm, I'm glad he used uh, traditional blue color teams too. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. You did a really good job with these. All right, moving forward. Hmm. I don't know. Simple. Think about them. Bye, Batty. Like uh, we said then this week in caps, I like the orange crown. Uh, mm-hmm. old, old school uh, San Francisco logo. I think that's the old one, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like yeah. the 80s. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I this 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 hat speaks to me, and I think it's available on close to a full size room. So yeah, it's a good looking hat. Yeah, it's just clean, simple. So you got your sleepers, fellas. Now we're gonna move into our keepers, right? Mm-hmm. Ugh. Oh yeah, Caps Boise. I love this uh, murder she wrote uh, front logo. Pinky brown. Um, I don't know who made it, but it's a great hat, uh, and I like it. This is this is entering one of those realms of uh, 
a new logo mm -hmm. that everybody for some reason wants to use. No, I'm never, I'm never touching this thing. <laughs> well, John I mean, there's, did it there, once, and then there are what 29 it. other teams, Thir mm. or 31 other teams. Yeah, because remember on the stream, I showed the Red Sox one, right? Right, yeah, like why the Astros? Well, that's the only one people got the, the clip art to. Oh. So now, now it's so the Dodgers one is circulating, so you're going to see Dodgers ones. Oh. I don't and, know, and Pirates. This is going. This is quickly becoming one of those uh, super overused logos mm -hmm. in very short time period. Yep, definitely good pick, man. Oh wait, that was a keeper. We <laughs> <laughs> roasted it like it was a leaper. I did. I did. But that, yeah, but teach yeah. their own. I was like, wait, I was like, good. Like, this is a keeper. Yeah. All right. Well, this is my other keeper. Um, I, I thought it was pretty cool. I've never seen candidate hats like this before, whether you're with the red or the blue or you're with both like me. Um, I like them, man. I like the elephant. I like the donkey. Um, I like the flag. I like the colors. It's pretty unique. Um, and, yeah, man, this is these hats are, are pretty cool. I'm going to be playing Bruce Springsteen around the house when I wear them. And so, yeah, great job, Pierre, and, and Topper Store USA. Thank I'm you. Uh, waiting, I'm waiting for the green party one. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> the frog. The frog. All right. Uh, bing bong. So uh, Bearded Goose teamed up with NEMS and uh, Fuck Your Life Brands, FYL, and they uh, came up with this collab hat. Um, yeah, I think they did a great job. They did a pop up on um, in Coney Island last Saturday, so it was uh, cool to see uh, Bearded Goose um, get together with uh, Nims. Eighty five dollars. It's a good looking hat, though. There's a cool logo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, next up, uh, keeper coming from Hat Club. Um, I like the uh, stained glass uh, collection that they had. I think I picked the Pirates because I, I feel like their um, side patch was the largest and, like, most well-colored, uh, I guess. Um, I like the uh, logos with the colors in the front the best, I think. The white ones look kind of cool, but they got outshone, outshone, shined, outshined by the yeah. reds and then the, the, the orange and the yellow here. So uh, either way, it was a cool collection um, mm -hmm. that they did. Do you think they got a new version of this patch to do this? Because I don't think yeah. you can color yeah. this patch yeah. like this, right? Yeah, you can't. You can't. There's yeah. no way. It's it's like the front. How they had the front. They chopped these pat. They chopped these patches up. They they, okay. they chopped them up. It's like when uh, they do no. the program hats with like the yeah. fur and the animals and stuff. Sure, like sure. No, I, I I like the Pittsburgh one a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this this is this isn't your regular GCP hat right here. No, no, no. you're right. Yeah. No. Definitely not. All right. Let's see what and it's the hat club tag on the, the inner tip. Mm -hmm. Uh this this uh Phillies uh DPM OG collection or something like that from uh DPM fitteds uh pro image uh Poughkeepsie Danbury Middlesboro. Middletown. Um, Middletown. Middletown, thank you. Um yeah, I I just like the simplicity of the, the gold and the silver together. Or the gold and the white, uh, just a clean looking hat. Kind of reminds me of that uh, gold digger pack that Hat Club did a while ago, except with a with a front logo that's not blacked up. So, mm -hmm. good pick. <laughs> yeah, uh, I told you guys last week I like this collection from Lids Fanatics, and uh, once the Braves finally hit, it uh, was a keeper for me. They did a nice job with the logo choice. And uh, that B reminds me of that Ligature series. But mm -hmm. uh, they could actually – this is an approved logo because there's no other Braves logo on the hat. And there's just a Batterman on the back, gray bottom. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. It almost looks chain-stitched, but it's not. It's it not. It, the, inner, yeah. the inner part of it does yeah, a, a little bit. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. It's a cool logo, though. Yeah. That yeah, is cool. All right. And that, my friends, brings this episode to a close. All right. There it is. 
nice tidy little uh, keeper sleepers weepers. I want to thank you, gentlemen, for joining me this evening. Really nice job. And with that, Leon, big fella, take us away. Yeah, make sure you guys are dropping a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, for Jason, Snap, Leon, and Pierre, we out of here. See you, everybody. Peace. Brought to you by VFTV.